Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Friday, October 28th, and today we celebrate Saints Simon and Jude, the Apostles. Here's the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, celebrating the saints. The only thing the Gospels tell us about Simon is that he was one of the disciples and that he was called the Zealot. John mentions Jude in his description of the Last Supper. The epistle of Jude may be the work of the disciple Jude, who is the man mentioned by John, as the brother of James the Greater. Tradition has consistently associated Simon and Jude as apostles to Persia. Some accounts state that they were martyrs, a tradition generally accepted by the Western Church. The monology of Basil, however, says that Simon died a peaceful death in Edessa. Jude, who was surnamed Thaddeus, has been confused with another Thaddeus, who was also said to have died a quiet death, either in Beirut or Edessa. Whatever the facts, accounts conflict and reliable data are lacking. There are other scholarly questions about both men. One involves Simon's appellation, Zealot. Whether, in fact, he had been a member before his conversion of one of the several factions called Zealots, or whether this title refers to his zeal for the Jewish laws, is not known. But he has consistently been identified by it. For some centuries, and even to this day, Jude, has been regarded in popular devotion as the patron of desperate or lost causes, but the basis of this tradition is obscure. The epistle of Jude concludes with this striking doxology, now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you without blemish before the presence of his glory with rejoicing, to the only God our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority, through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all time, and now, and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, we thank you for the glorious company of the apostles, and especially on this day for Simon and Jude. And we pray that as they were faithful and zealous in their mission. So we may, with ardent devotion, make known the love and the mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.